All right, let's take a look at putting the Z80 MBC2 into an enclosure. I bought this enclosure on Amazon. It was about 15 bucks. Not a very bad deal. Uh, pretty nice little dimensions, although it's a little bit tight. I can't quite put all the cards down at the full extent of the card, but certainly good enough. These are the cards. The bigger blue card is the Z80-MBC2. The card to the left of that is a SD card. The card to the far left is an FTDI card, and the card on the far right is an adapter for ribbon cable to DB25 female. The three cards on the outside, the two left, and the one on the right are all made and sold by Landboards on our Tindy store. The FTDI card on the left has a full-size USB connector and will drive power to the 5 volts for the single board computer. The card to the right in the picture is our SD card with mountable holes and an LED. It works with the SD card that's needed for this design. The main advantage of these two cards is that you can mount them with standoffs into a chassis unlike other cards which you'd probably have to figure out how to mount with hot glue or something else. Uh, they just mount very solidly into a chassis. The ribbon cable to DB25 female adapter card makes it very easy to hook up to the 16 lines of GPIO and two power and two ground and bring that out to the outside of the enclosure. The cards are all wired together with standard cables, 10th inch pitch, DuPont type connectors. Um, you could use single pins or buy housing and make them wider and they hook up directly to the SBC card. Here's the card shown inside the enclosure. There's a plastic lip on the inside of the enclosure that makes it difficult to mount cards on all four standoffs, but the rear standoffs are sufficient and the SBC card can be mounted with just two of the standoffs screwed to the box. The other two are in place with screws and, screws and washers to space it so the card is level. It's a, it's a fairly tight fit, but it's, it's definitely doable. Here's a view from the backside of the chassis with the USB connector. It will sit flush with the back of the box. I'm using a full-size USB-B connector. I find them to be more sturdy. They don't ever break off cards, and the cables for them are usually thicker gauge wires, so it's very good for powering stuff. Here's a side view looking at the SD card and the FTDI USB connector side. The white stickers inside I used for putting marks inside the chassis for where I wanted to drill the holes for the screws. Everything fits in fine, a uh, little bit tight all, all around, but definitely fits fine. You can see the uh, plastic lips or to the right bottom corner there that the SD card front edge is sitting on, but that's not an issue. Just two bolts is enough to bolt it in and the standoffs are very solid. The SD card is on taller standoffs and the FTDI card is on lower standoffs. I like to have the power cord lower to the bottom in the chassis and the SD card roughly centered on the front panel. And this is a top-down view looking down into the chassis with the DB25 connector mounted to the right. The DB25 isn't sitting on standoffs because there's no place to put the standoffs, but it's bolted into the front into the DB25 connector itself. And here's the box viewed from the front. The SD card is on the left with a slot cut in the front panel. I used a Dremel tool to do the cut, drilled a bunch of little holes and a Dremel saw bit to chop between the holes and then a little small file to file it out. Similarly for the GPIO, I've got a DB25 female. I prefer the female because there's exposed power pins and ground pins on this connector. And I've added a little note there. Pin one is at the upper right and 14 is below that on a DB25 female. The unit itself is the Z80 MBC2 and it's the GPIO is running at 5 volts TTL and I took notes of those things on the front panel just to not confuse myself later on. And here's the screws on the bottom. They're 440 screws that mount into the standoffs, the female end of the standoffs for the cards that are held off. You can see in the bottom, very bottom edge, there's two for the single board computer and there's the top two silver screws there are for the SD card and the lower two are for the FTDI. Again, it's not necessary to support all four corners and there isn't enough room with the plastic inside of this box the way it works to fit all four screws on each corner, but two's, two's sufficient. 
Uh, my drill bit got away a little bit on me and spun the piece around. Fortunately, my fingers weren't anywhere near it, and I was in a setup on my my uh, drill press that kept me from getting hurt. I should have clamped the card down before I drilled that USB connector, but it's fine. If I had a little bit of touch-up paint, I'd put it on there, but I don't know how I'd match this blue color. It's probably a little hard to find something that would be a good match. I did note on here that it's running at 115 too, baud because I forget that when I go back to something a year later or a month later. The SBC card is a really nice card. Um, Fab, hats off to Fabio for a, a great design. Uh, he's emulating the PROM in the I.O. using an Arduino or an Atmega 32 part, and he monitors what's happening out of the Z80 and provides the right data as if there was a problem there and then it just does its thing run cpm cpm 2.2 3.0 a bunch of other stuff basic ucsd pascal it's a good deal i got the the bare board on ebay for eight bucks and i had most of the parts in my junk box i didn't order the sip resistors that's why there's there's sort of messy hand wired resistors between the bigger parts there other than that, uh, I had no real issues building it. I think I built it in less than a couple of hours. It's a nice, nice functional set, and the software he has to make an SD card and stuff was just foolproof. I'd recommend it if you want to play around with the Z80, and uh, consider putting it in a box and adding the cards around it so that you got something that's nice and solid in the end and not just sitting on your bench, but uh, makes a nice little... Uh, I'm not going to say product because you're not going to sell this, but uh, a nice little usable setup that that's not going to get destroyed with a piece of wire flying around in your in your lab or anything like that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you like any of the three cards that we designed that are used along with this, take a look at our landboard store. They're for sale up there. I'm going to put the I've li just listed the SD card, so it might be a day or two till. That shows up on there, and uh, hopefully they can help you get together a nice enclosure and parts and a very solid, very solid build in the end. If you want more information, you can see our wiki pages for these products, and we have YouTube videos on them as well. We have a store in Tindy where we sell all of our cards. Thanks for watching our video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.